Hi, this is Jijo. And uh, what, what I'm going to do is cat to the 18 slot one LRDI set. This is a set about three committees. Let's see the setup here. This says there are 24 people are a part of three committees which are to look at research, teaching and administration. So essentially we have three committees. One is uh, research, other is teaching and other is administration. Then it says uh, no two committees have any member in common. So there is nothing common which means all the 24 members have to be distributed across the three committees. Okay. No two committees are of the same size. So whatever is the value of R is not equal to the value of T is not equal to the value of A. Then it says each committee has three types of people, bureaucrats, educationists and politician. So we have three types of people. We have bureaucrats, uh, educationists, politician. So we have some members there. And let's say this is the total. The total would be here. And there is a total of each committee. And the total number of people must be equal to 24. And what we know is that this value is not the same as this value is not the same as that value. Right. Then it's, it's also given at least uh, at least one from each of the three types in each committee which means none of these values is equal to zero okay so we, we need to have all these values which is greater than zero none of them should be equal to zero okay let's look at uh, each of these three facts the fact number one says the number of bureaucrats in the research and teaching committees are equal okay let's go ahead and write that so research uh, committee and teaching committee so what is the value here x that should be the same value that is going to be there x and then he says that while the number of bureaucrats in the research committee is 75% of the number of bureaucrats in the admin committee. So now uh, so the number of bureaucrats in the research committee, whatever is, is uh, three-fourth of whatever is the value that is there. Now one, since we are dealing with the natural numbers because the number of members of committee are natural number, uh, is, if you know that if you have research and admin committee, if you take this to be x, this is going to be three-fourth of x. Now instead of writing like this, what we better is to write in terms of ratio, which means if this is 3x, that is going to be equal to 4x. Or if this a is 4x, then r is going to be 3x. Now I, I will write in that fa fashion instead of writing this fraction, uh, which, which is instead of writing in fractions, uh, so I'm just going to write this as, uh, if, if uh, this is going to be 4x, this would be equal to 3x, that will take care of the 75 percentage, and the search and teaching community has to be the same, and the total is 10x. Now mind you, the total is only 24, so the now x uh, have, uh, taking a value of 1 will make the total to be equal to 10. If x take the value of 2, then the total will become 20. So if x equal to 2, this total will be 20, which means since there is only 24, these two put together needs to give us a 4. Now there are 8, uh, 6 places there, and which means if uh, if 4 is the total that is going to come from the 6 places, some of them will end up taking the value 0. Now, the, it's clearly mentioned that none of them takes the value 0, which means it is not possible for this to be a 4, therefore it is not possible x to take the, uh, 10x to take the value 20. Therefore, the only value possible for the bureaucrat is x, uh, in this case, takes the value which is equal to 1. Uh, so that means, uh, essentially, this value it will be equal to 10. So this value is equal to 10, or this value will be equal to 4, this value will be equal to 3, and that's the value equal to 3. So we've got all the stories with regards to the bu bureaucrats. Let's carry on and look at the second one. The number of educationalists in the teaching committee is less than the number of educationalists in the research committee. So teaching committee, whatever the value here, that has been less than the value that is here, which means the number of research committee has to be greater than the number of value teaching. What is the value here? this x has to be greater than y. So I'm just going to put this greater than sign here to indicate that this value has to be greater than that value. And the next one is given that uh, the number of educationalists in the research committee is the average of number of educationalists other two committee. Research committee is the average of these two uh, values. So if I, if I take this to be a and take this to be b, this would be equal to a plus b by 2. And if you actually look at the total, if you total this out, so if you take a plus b by 2 plus a plus b, that would be, uh, you can actually write this as uh, uh, a plus b plus 2a plus 2b divided by 2. The total is going to be 3 times a b uh, a plus b by 2. So that's the value that you're going to get here, which is 3 times a plus b divided by 2. 
what we need to understand is this, this total must be a natural number so whatever is our a plus b uh, must be a multiple of 2 and also the whole thing now the whole total must be a multiple of 3 we have 3 times a number which is a plus b by 2 the whole total must be a multiple of 3 let's uh, now figure this uh, uh, let's just leave it at that there and then look at the third condition which is given here 60% of the politicians are in the administrative co uh, committee so whatever is the total 60% of the, them is going to be in admin so instead of writing in decimal so 60% would be in 6 by 10 so uh, or we can write the 3 by 5 as well so if this value is going to be 5 times x an ad admin committee will be equal to 3 times x and uh, it's also given that 20 percentage are from the teaching committee now 20 percentage is actually 1 by 5 right 20 percentage is equal to 1 by 5 which means the total is 5 uh, this will be uh, this will be uh, simply 1 the teaching committee will be 20 percentage that will be x now 3x plus uh, x will get to 4x we need to get the total of 5x therefore this also has to be equal to x now let's look at what all value that x can take one value that x can take is of course we already have a 10 so whatever it is uh, then the total is 24 now x cannot take the value 3 if x takes the value 3 here the total becomes 15 that cannot be the case plus 10 plus 15 already has, would be greater than 24 there are two values here x can take one x can take the value 1 taking it to 5 and the second x can take the value 10 uh, 2 taking it to 10 uh, if now x takes the value 5 this value this corresponding value for e would be 10 plus 5 is 15 we have to go to 24 corresponding value will be equal to 9 and if x x x takes the value of uh, x takes the value 2 here 5 times x will be equal to 10 and the corresponding value will be equal to 4 because we need to have a 10 plus 4 plus 4 will give you the value 24 now the problem here is now uh, problem here is with 4 we understand therefore this uh, the total is 3 times a plus b by 2 would be equal to 4 therefore 3 times a plus b would be equal to 8 and a plus b would be equal to 8 by 3 that is not possible now a plus b necessarily has to be a natural number so then it cannot be equal to 4 therefore this cannot be equal to 10 therefore we know that this is going to take the value which is 5 and this takes the value which is 9 so let's uh, 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 for erase all this there and uh, say that uh, uh, this has to take the value which is 5 which means x is equal to 1 x is equal to 1 this will be equal to 3 this will be equal to 1 and that will be equal to 1 let's go ahead and write that one out uh, so it will be 1 1 3 5 so this will be equal to 1 this will be equal to 1 1 3 and 5 and now we know that uh, our 3 times a plus b by 2 should be take should take the value which is 9 which means this equal to 3 a plus b has to take the value which is 6 and this is a plus b by 2 therefore a plus b by 2 would be equal to 3 so therefore this particular thing a plus b by 2 that has to take a value which is equal to 3 now mind you a plus b now has to give a value which is 6 now but this a is less than 3 now a cannot take the value which is uh, 0 there are only two cases for a either a takes the value 1 uh, or a takes the value which is 2 if a takes the value which is 1 a b will take the value which is 5 if a takes the value which is 2 then b will take the value which is 4 so there are just those two cases and therefore we can quickly write that down we also know that in this case here the total here should be equal to 9 right so we know that the that the fact that the total here uh, should be equal to 9 right so and then let's just p plug in these values there so we know that this is uh, okay. uh, this is 3 and if x takes the value uh, this takes the value which is 1 and therefore this will take the value which is 5 that is case number 1 and then this takes the value which is 2 this takes the value which is 4 now the total uh, we can now add all these up 3 plus 3 is 6 6 plus 1 is 7 the total number of research is equal to 7 we can this will take three or uh, two values three uh, three plus one plus is one is five or three plus two plus one equal to six so either this takes a value which is five or this takes a value which is six and here we have four plus five is nine nine plus three is twelve or four plus four is eight eight plus three is eleven this takes a value either twelve or eleven so that's uh, uh, that's a story here 
uh, we get uh, everything uh, except uh, the, these two values and therefore we don't get these two values that could be multiple cases now this but this will be good enough to answer the question uh, that follows let's uh, start with the first question the first question says which based on the information which of the following must be false must be false is necessarily false and if you look at the first statement the size of the research committee is less than the size of the administration committee the size of the research committee which is 7 is less than less than the size of administration committee which means either if even if it takes a value 12 or take the value 11 7 is necessarily less than 12 or 11 therefore that information is a true information please do we are looking we have time to figure out which of the following must be false therefore one is eliminated let's look at the second case uh, in the teaching committee the number of educationalists is equal to the number of politician in the teaching committee uh, number of educationalists is equal to the number of it can be true uh, it could be false so there could be a case which is 1 1 there could be a case which is 2 1 but it could be true but the question is it must be false since it is must be false this is eliminated because this is something that is could be true when you have must be false it necessarily has to be false let's look at the third statement in the administration committee the number of bureaucrats is equal to the number of educationalists uh, in the administration committee number of bureaucrats is equal to number of educationalists it could be true it could be false it can be a 4 4 or a 4 5 but we are looking at something that is must be true uh, sorry must be false uh, in this case this particular statement uh, is could be true uh, so if that is also eliminated so answer choice 4 would be the right answer choice let's check the size of the research committee is less than the size of the teaching committee size of the research committee which is 7 is less than the size of teaching uh, committee it is false in both the cases it's actually more 7 is more than 5 and 7 is more than 6 and this is something that is necessarily necessarily false which is uh, number 4 what is the number of bureaucrats in the administration committee so number of bureaucrats uh, in the administration committee is equal to 4 so the answer to that question is equal to 4 uh, let's look at question number 3 uh, what is the number of educationalists in the research committee? We're looking at number of educationalists. Educationalists in the research committee, that value is equal to 3. Educational research committee, that value is equal to 3. We can answer that question as well. And the last question says, which of the following cannot be determined uniquely based on the given information? What cannot be determined uniquely? Let's look at each one of them. Total number of educationalists in the three committees. Total number of educationalists in the three committees, we can find that uniquely that value is equal to 9. So that's something that we can find out. We are looking at something that uh, something that cannot be found. This can, can be found. So that is uh, incorrect. Let's look at the second statement. The total number of bureaucrats in the three committees. The total number of bureaucrats in the three committees, that's also something that we can know, we know for sure. That's equal to 10. So that is also eliminated because we are looking at something that cannot be determined uniquely. The size of the research committee. Now the size of the research committee is not something that we know for sure, which is 7. So that's not a problem. So therefore the answer choice uh, would be the fourth one. The size of the teaching committee. Now size of the teaching committee is something that we don't know. It can be either 5 or, or 6. Therefore the answer to that question, ladies and gentlemen, e equals to 4 answer choice number four so yeah so this question is about uh, drawing the diagram doing basic maths and also instead of dealing with uh, fractions uh, uh, instead of dealing with fractions or decimal it is always better to deal with uh, so for example in this case we looked at uh, that case which is uh, three fourths if something is let's say something is three four instead of writing x and three uh, three by four x and x what will be better is to write three x and four x that will make your life slightly more easier much more easier in fact so for example somebody is saying 60 percentage instead of writing one to be x another to be point six x is better to uh, uh, understand that six uh, sixty percentage is six by ten or equal to three by five that then is better to write the total as five x another to be equal to three x those kind of small decisions that you take will make your life very easy when you solve questions when you solve questions like this thank you